Many mobile and collaborative business environments are opening up their networks for controlled sharing of resources with business partners, customers, and other guests. We'll walk through the process of enabling a captive portal on this edition of Tech Talks next. A Cisco Captive Portal gives you a secure and convenient way to offer wireless access for clients and other visitors while still maintaining the security of your internal network. So here's how to enable a Captive Portal. First, navigate to the Access Point Setup Wizard on your device. Go through the settings until you reach the Captive Portal Setup. Once you're there, click Yes to create a guest network. Now name your network. We'll call it Cisco SB Guest. Next, select a security type. In this video, we're going to go with no security, but for your business, it's strongly recommended that you choose a security type. Now enable the captive portal. It's recommended you assign a different VLAN ID for the guest network than the current management VLAN ID. If you have a specific web page you want to show after you accept the terms of service from the welcome page, type in that URL here. Next, review your summary and make sure all settings are correct. Click Submit. This enables security and finishes the access point setup. Now click Finish. Your captive portal is complete. Your customer should be able to connect to your guest network and get the welcome page. For advanced setup and configuration, log into the device GUI from the captive portal menu. Select Instance Configuration and give an instance name for your new captive portal. We'll call it Guest. Go ahead and click Save. You'll notice the Setup Wizard automatically associates a Captive Portal Guest to the Guest SSID you created during the setup. If you created the instance using the GUI, you'd now need to associate the Guest Network you created. Do this by clicking Instance Association. Here, choose one of the VAPs, then choose the SSID we just created in the dropdown. In this case, we'll select a Guest then click Save. Now, go back to Instance Configuration and select Guest from the Captive Portal Instances. On the Captive Portal Instance Parameters page, choose the authentication method to verify clients. In the Verification dropdown, there are three options, Guest, Local, and Radius. With Guest, the user does not need to be authenticated by a database. With Local, the WAP device uses a local database to authenticate users. And with Radius, the WAP uses a database on a remote Radius server to authenticate users. For this video, I'll choose Local and click Save. Now we'll click Local Users to add them. Just add the local username. For this video, I'll enter Cisco User 1 and click Save. Now we're at the Captive Portal User Parameters page. Here you can add a password, give a group name, and assign the maximum bandwidth upstream and downstream. So I'm going to add my password and click Save. Now, select Web Portal Customization from the menu to configure your guest welcome page. Put in the web locale name. We'll call this Test Cisco. Choose your instance. We'll choose Guest and click Save. This brings you to the customization page. You can put in your background image name, logo image name, and design the web page your customer will visit when logging in. And that's how you set up advanced settings on your captive portal. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.